hi guys thank you for watching welcome to this video and to my channel if you're new here so in today's video we're going to be taking a look at this palette which is the latte 2 by dominique cosmetics and if you've been around here for a while you will know that i'm more into colorful makeup than i am to neutrals but i don't know why but these dominique palettes just really speak to me i have no explanation as to what it's all about because this is pretty neutral for me and yeah i still as soon as i saw it was like yeah i've got to have that palette it's just gorgeous i just i don't know i just really like it so i've got the original latte palette so in this video i'll compare the two and show you i'm also going to apply an eye look but i'm going to steer clear of, of the more colorful tones this time and stay a lot more in the neutral zone something just completely classic and neutral and I promise that's what I'm going to do this time because I just don't do that very often so it's what I'm feeling today and I will probably do a three looks on palette with it and get a bit more experimental but I just wanted to do something completely on the neutral side today so as I say I do have the original latte palette let's see actually if I can hold up the two together so you can see the differences in them yeah I think that's going to work we're going to be okay so the original latte is the white one at the top and then obviously we've got the latte two underneath and what i like about these palettes is always you've got mattes in this corner that are a little bit more interesting should i say you know that bring something a bit more colorful to the palette and then you've normally got or you have got in both palettes three shimmers across the bottom and you have on this one as well and then three sort of more neutral mattes and you have there too but they've not repeated any shades i think the closest would be frothy and vanilla cream so vanilla cream from that palette and frothy from this one but frothy is a lot lighter i like that you've got pumpkin spice there but then you've got blonde rose which is like a lighter version but like of a warm toned kind of pumpkiny vibe and i like that the shimmers are neutral but they're all different in tone like this one is really sparkly that one's very gold looking i think they're a lot more cooler toned in the first latte palette so I thought it was enough variation to warrant the purchase of both of them and i'm not sad that i did because i think they're they're very beautiful both of them one thing that has changed that i wish hadn't changed actually is that the original latte and quite a lot of the other dominique palettes come in these slip cases that you just slide the palette into and i always keep them in those and they're super pretty now i've just gone for just like a normal box that you've got to open on the ends which because I keep my palettes in the boxes, it's just a bit more inconvenient than sliding it out of the, the slip case. So for me, I prefer the original design, but it's not to say there's anything wrong with it. It's a, a pretty looking box and whatever, but I just thought I'd point it out if you've been collecting their palettes. This is the only one that I've got that's in that format rather than the slip case format. On the outside of the palette, it is like a marble. It's super pretty and the lettering's gorgeous. So they've done a nice job of the packaging. It's just just so I like those slip cases a little bit more. But as I say, I'm going to get into using the palette on my eyes and as I go along, I could be telling you then if I think the formula is similar to the Latte palette because obviously I have that one. I also have the Berries and Cream, I've got the Lemonade palette and I've got the Rustic Glam. So I'm quite familiar with the Dominique Cosmetics formula, but I don't think that the Latte was ever really surpassed. I really enjoyed the formula in that first original palette. So. I think this one's going to be very similar because I think neutrals are quite easy to formulate and the pops of colour aren't particularly out there pops so I think they're going to perform really well. So let's just get into it. So I'm going to scoot you in and as I say I'm going to do a completely neutral look today. Okay so I've already primed my eyes using the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I've not set it because I'm going to go in with Cafe Con Leche to set it and a nice fluffy brush just to put that pretty much all over my eyes. And then I'm going to go in with the darker shades to create some definition and then some sparkle on the lid. So that's kind of the plan. So I'm just literally dusting that pretty much everywhere to set my lids, which I don't do very often, as I say. I used to do it with powder and I used to do neutral makeup pretty much all of the time, particularly for work, before I started getting into Instagram and YouTube. So it'll be kind of nice to go back to like the roots of how I used to do my makeup back in the day when I used to just buy one palette and and use the shades till they were pretty much gone I've not been doing it that way for a long, long time I've been doing a lot of out of the 
the box looks. I've been filming some very, very colourful combinations just lately. I just fancied just to do something neutral. Okay, so we've got two options here really. We've got Cafe Cito or Coffee Beans. I think I'm going to go ultra dark today and use Coffee Beans and I'm going to build that up in my crease. I'm going to use a small tapered E45 by Sigma to, to do this. And I'm just building it in the kind of middle to outer part of my crease and on my outer V. So the, the classic places you would put it for a normal kind of neutral look I guess. So I've not done my makeup like this in a long long time so it's kind of fun to do it again actually. It's going on super easily. I'm not getting the pigment payoff that I would have got if I'd have gone in with an unset base but I think to get a nice blend with neutrals I think it works better to set the base with a eyeshadow or with face pad, but I think an eyeshadow because it's more in the tone of the, the colours in the palette so I think that will make blending very much more easy. Right, so I've laid the pigment down and then I'm going to work on really making sure that that's blended and seamless. I'm dipping into a little bit more as I go if I feel like I need it. But I'm just literally circular blending motions and windscreen wiper motions across my crease until I've got a really nice blended look. So I'm just going to speed through the blending process so that you can see how long it took to do the blending but that we're not here for the rest of the day because blending neutral looks I think does take quite a long time to really make them look nice. Just to help with that blend now, I'm going back in with Café Con Leche, which was the shade that we started with to set the lids and the crease, and I'm just blending the edges with that. So for my shimmers I'm going to go in with iced coffee on the majority of my lids then I'm going to use frappe in my inner part of my lids and my inner corner. So nothing complicated at all. But I am going to spray the shimmer just to maximise the intensity a bit. Just in the centre of my lids and it's very similar in tone to the shades in my outer corner so it's very easy to get a nice blended look with that. Finding these shimmers easy to work with, they're not super foiled or anything, they're just a true shimmer shade but they're applying really easily and I've got no hard pan issues which was a problem with the Lemonade palette for me so I could get it to work but I've definitely had some issues with that but with this one it seems to be picking up on the brush really well. I then into Frappe just to finish off into the inner corner really beautiful it's got quite a lot of glitter to it but it's not not a glitter it's just got some some sparkle to it but it still feels pretty smooth it's not a pressed glitter or anything like that super pretty I normally use glitter glue with shimmers but I decided it would be easier to get a blend if I didn't because I always find that makes it difficult for me then to blend into mattes so spraying it is the other alternative really. I'm just going to bring that crease colour just down just slightly. I've got a little bit left on the brush from when I applied it earlier. I'm not adding any additional product. The brow bone highlight I'm going to go in with Frothy. And then for my waterline and lower lash line, I'm going to go in with Linda Halberg's Brown Core. Cool. 
And then I'm gonna take coffee beans and a flat definer brush just to set that. I'm just taking a small fluffy pencil brush. This one is the E36 from Morphe, just to blend that out a little bit. Just dipping into Cafe Con Leche, the shade we used all over the lid to start the look, just to help with that blend. And then for inner corner highlight, back in with Frappe. Just that light glittery shade. It might be a little bit too glittery for the inner corner. It's not just glitter, it's got some base pigment to it, but it's got a lot of glitter on top. So that's the look to this point. Just going to hop off camera just for a trace of wing liner on my upper lash line, some mascara and a neutral lip probably for the look and I'll be right back with you to show you the finished look and also talk you through my thoughts on the shades I've used and what I think of the palette overall, obviously as a first impressions. Okay guys, so here's the look. Completely neutral, who am I? I don't do this very often. So for anyone that's following me for color, I don't know how much you're gonna enjoy this one, but I just really wanted to just play with a different side of me. You know, I'm a bit of a chameleon with makeup and I quite enjoy neutrals now and again. So I thought I'd do something completely neutral because I always end up with a lower lash line with some color or an inner corner. But this is completely neutral, but still quite dramatic and I still feel myself in it. So quite enjoy the way it's turned out. I've used the Lancome Hypnose Doll Eyes Mascara and that's made a big impact to my lashes because I think for a look like this it would be great to wear some nice statement lashes but I don't really get on with them but I think this is a really good mascara for faking that a little bit. So I've had that one in my collection for a long time, I just don't dig it out often enough because whenever I use it I always think how good it is so totally recommend that one. And um, for lips today, I've used a Stunner Lip Paint in the shade Uncuffed because I thought it's neutral-ish, warm tone neutral, but it's uh, got enough colour in it so that I don't look too washed out. So I think it's my perfect kind of nude shade. And I've overlined my lips a bit just to be a little bit more glam. And I guess it's a full glam kind of look, although I can't wear full coverage foundation because it just looks awful on me. But other than that, I think it's fairly full glam today. So for the palette then, so as I said in the intro, I love the way that they've incorporated the pops of colour, but they're not crazy pops, you know, they go with the neutral colour story and with the coffee theme really well. And I haven't used them today, so I can't really comment on them, but I like the way that they look with the other shades in the palette. I think they make a really nice cohesive colour story there. I've used really coffee beans and cafe con leche in this look and got on well with both of those. I think they're a really nice tone. And I think it's nice to have a bit more cooler tone brown and then you've got that Cafe Cito shade which is a lot warmer, which I didn't use, but I'm eager to do so. I probably would pair that with the more goldy shade. There's a different finish in here to what I'm used to from the Latte one. So this uh, shade here, which I'm using on my inner corners, I can feel like a bit of grit in my eyes. So there's definitely some glitter in that one. That one's called Frappe. And although it's only very tiny glitter, it's kind of annoying my contact lens on this side. So just to make you aware, I think glitter glue might be a must if you uh, wear contacts like I do, or just be very, very careful where you're putting it. It's not the sort of glitter that's gonna hurt your eyes because it's very finely milled, but I have got some in there, I think, and it is irritating me slightly. Um, but beautiful nonetheless. I think iced coffee is an unusual shimmer to have in a neutral palette. You always seem to find like quite light shimmers in neutral palettes, and that one's like a chocolatey sort of shade shimmer, but with a bit of cool tone to it. So I really think it goes well with that coffee bean shade. I think they really pair effortlessly together and blend really easily together. So obviously I need to play with it more. I've only tried less than half of the shades, but that's my first impressions on the palette. As I say, I'll probably make maybe a 
two looks at one palette with this and do another further couple of looks so I can incorporate some of the colours in there and try out some of the shimmers or the shimmer that I haven't tried. But yeah, I'm, I'm not sad I bought it because I don't really have too many neutral palettes that are pretty much neutral, staple, everyday kind of palettes. And when I find one that's really good quality, it does excite me. I'm, I'm kind of interested at the moment in the Too Faced one that's just come out that's based on the shades of their Born This Way foundation. And that one's completely neutral. So yeah, I'm having a bit of a neutral moment at the moment, which is, as I say, not like me. So I'm gonna go with it while it lasts, but I'm sure I'll be back into color. I've got a colorful video lined up that I wanna film tomorrow. So. So yeah, I'm just going to vary things up a bit and, and just do the looks that I fancy doing on the day I fancy to do them, really. But that's pretty much everything for my initial impressions on the Lasso 2 by Dominique Cosmetics. Love to know what you think, guys. Do you like the look? Would you wear this? I think this is a lot more wearable for a lot of people. And yeah, are you planning to pick up the palette? But if you enjoyed the video, then please give it a like for me. If you're new to my channel, I'd love it if you consider subscribing before you go. But thank you so much for watching. Hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are, guys. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.